Alright, so what you're looking at right here are my lilies. And if you could see all the yellow and dead leaves that are forming at the base of the lily plant. This is what happens when either slugs do some damage or um, it, it's been really dry. And the way that the plant survives so it can flower, as you can see the stems are forming, is these leaves start to turn yellow just to save energy. Now luckily I got a nice big rainstorm yesterday, so yay everything's happy. But what I'm going to do today is pull out as many of those dead and dying leaves that I can because that's going to enable the rest of the plant to thrive so when it does flower, which will probably be in another week, you know, it'll have the energy to do that so the plant will be nice and healthy and it'll also help because um, it'll get rid of a lot of the, you know, baby slugs and everything that are up in there doing their uh, sluggy things, sucking the juices out. So um, it's kind of a form of deadheading, but this is more like aerating out, um, you know, the center of the plant because the plant needs air um, to survive. Well, not necessarily to survive, but just to be healthier. And the, the way that you want it to be healthier is to hook it up. So, you know, I'm going to be doing that. And then there's also what you can be doing to some other plants, which is deadheading. But like, for example, down here, my little chives, they're just about finished. Now, what I do is I take off 90% of the heads and I leave 10%. And I leave those 10% so the seeds can form on that. But, um... I don't want them to spread all over the place, so I only leave about 10%. And then over here, I have some pansies and some petunias, and the best way to make annual plants thrive is to just deadhead the old um, flowers, because that'll give all the energy to the rest of the plant instead of wasting it on dead flowers. Okay? So go out in your garden and clean up the messes. Get yellow flowers, I mean yellow leaves off, and deadhead, and that'll help... Uh, you know, your plants look super happy and healthy. And what you can also do is just take all the, uh, you know, dead material, as long as it's not infected, um, infested with like a fungus or anything, just put it in your compost. All right, so there you go. Happy cleaning, have a good day.